Another day of rumors and not a lot of facts. Still no comment from the administration, leaving many to wonder if recent media reports are in fact accurate that the school will terminate its football program. This Board of Trustees is hell bent on closing this program down. The president is considering canceling one of the best and cheapest ways to market its university, its school. I, that just makes no sense. The 2014-15 academic year will be our final year of competition. It is a great travesty for our city. You want to be in a campus in a major metropolitan area with no football team. If we lose our football program, it's going to lose money for our community. It's going to lose students. This is a big emotional issue for me as well as other alumni of the university. I'm fighting for a family. I'm fighting for a community. I'm fighting for UAB as a whole. Growing up, sports was like my older brother. Um, I was a single parent kid. My mom had three young men and she was working and did what she can to provide. So she introduced me to sports at the age of five years old. Timothy was very playful and very ambitious. He always took things to heart. And when he was your friend, he was your friend. Football was his major dream. He always dreamed of going to the NFL and playing football. It's a love in his heart for football. He'll do anything in the world for you. And he's the type of individual you can learn to respect very easily. He earns your respect. He doesn't ask for it. Schools were coming in because of what he's been able to do athletically, but they really was focusing on the fact he is already able to sign if they wanted him because of the fact his grades and things were there. Football was my best friend, and it was something that I said, you know what, if I don't do anything else, I will I'll play football the rest of my life. 2006 was the worst year of my life. For as April the 1st, 2006, our home burned. Okay, so April the 14th, 2006, my son David was killed in an automobile accident. David and Timothy, they were very, very close. And it took him, it really scarred him, it really hurt him. He was not the same. October 28, 2006, they were on their way to the classic football game here at Legion Field. And before they got to the game, the driver of the car went to sleep and they fell off the interstate. As we're going down the cliff, I'm getting thrown around all in the car and I broke my ribs and just immediately went paralyzed instantly and I heard Rodney ask, is everybody okay? And I was like, you know, no Rodney, I'm not okay, I can't feel my legs. And Rodney panicked and pulled me through the rear window and when he pulled me through the rear window, my neck went off the trunk and snapped my neck and I became paralyzed from the neck down. I went through a lot of depression. I, I lost a love for football. I hated this world. I didn't want to be here. My teammates couldn't even come to the hospital. I was just very mad and just hurt. Just all I could say is why? Why me? Why do I have to go through this? He said, Mama, I don't want to die. He said, Mama, I am so sorry for everything. He said, I don't want to die. And then I whispered in his ear, I said, you will not die, you will live. See yourself walking, see yourself running, leaping, playing football, and doing what the Lord wants you to do. When I went to his office, he said, man, the type of passion that you have, the spirit that you have, the enthusiasm that you have. He said, I need you a part of this football team.
UAB football is off to a winning record this year under new coach Bill Clark. Still, UAB supporters are worried. It is our understanding that you are awaiting the results of a study being conducted to determine whether to continue the UAB football program. We are also aware that a potential contract extension for Coach Clark, as well as scheduling out-of-conference games past 2016, have been placed on hold. There has been no uh, investment in facilities uh, in the football department in almost a decade. Uh, the last five years, UAB carried no debt for facilities on their balance sheet, which is different than any other school in the conference that we play in or in our peer group. It, it had a lot of different effect on us because it was really like anger, like, man, here we go, we've got all this stuff going, and then to hear this stuff, we felt like we were trying to get shot down. They're all, you know, trying to think, well, what's going to happen at the end of the season? We get bowl eligible, is there a way for us to save the team? Now I have to keep fighting because they're talking about ending our program in the mid-season. How do my team may stay focused? Various national outlets reporting that an announcement was imminent that UAB would in fact shut down its football program and let go athletics director Brian Mackin. The 2014-15 academic year will be our final year of competition in football. And just like that, UAB President Dr. Ray Watts announced the 23-year UAB football program is history. You took away my family. You took away something that I love. You took away something that I just got back to loving because I stopped liking football for a time, but I found love for it back. And I just felt like just my hopes and dreams and wishes would just suck right after me and the person that did it didn't care at all. Football meant so much to us. And for a lot of us, it was our only way out. For this to happen, you know, just we're like, what do we do now? Tim was 100% a part of the team. So to take that away from him, I think you just see a guy that's willing to fight and not give up and continue to be persistent in this fight. I just want to tell everybody on behalf of UAB football, we will not stop fighting and we want to say thank you to yourself. Thank you, UAB. What Free UAB is is just a bunch of people that has a lot of passion for UAB, that knows that we was done wrong, that says, you know what, I have a voice and I'm going to use my voice for UAB. UAB! Opposition and outrage to Watts' decision quickly turned into a movement to bring the programs back. There's a lot of awesome people out there that see an, uh, injustice happening and that going, hey man, this isn't right. How can you just take these guys' football? <laughs> UAB did something so great for me. They gave me a scholarship to school. They turned me into an athlete. Now I get the opportunity to fight for my school, to fight to bring it back. I had to do it. It was only right for UAB. January 9th, Watts announces the creation of a task force committee to hire a firm to review the car sports report. The car report was uh was the report that, that the president and the administration referenced uh, on that, that day on December 2nd that they just felt the costs would be too great. Uh, it has been proven time and time again that there were several variables that were, were not calculated correctly. There have been two, two public studies done since then, the CSS report and then one from OSKR, and both of them had very similar findings, but it looked more in depth at conference revenue. It looked at the alternatives of with football and without football. It looked at some of those indirect benefits and both reports found that not only was football very doable at UAB, but it found out that it can be a benefit and a boon to the growth of UAB in the city. In May, the UAB Football Foundation starts raising money. So far, they've raised more than $22 million. May 15th, CSS submits its final report and insists football can thrive.
And we're so hopeful that Dr. Watts is sincere in his efforts to look at it and that the hundreds of people that have spent thousands of hours working on this, this opportunity, that, that that opportunity gets seized. Being able to go and bring my kids, you know, eventually to these games, you know, and say, hey, I used to play here. You know, like, this stuff is huge. Like, this is a part of my life and it's gonna be a part of yours. Man, today is May 31st and tomorrow is June 1st, one of the biggest days of my life. The president's supposed to make an announcement whether he's gonna reinstate UAB football bowling and rifle on tomorrow. The students, faculty, alumni, and staff, we've all done everything that we can do. And now it's just sit and pray and just wait and just wait for the outcome on tomorrow, whether it's gonna be a party, whether it's gonna be a protest. All right, bring it, in. Bring bring it in. in. We ready? So as we all know, on December 2nd of 2014, our president ended our program, and now from six months afterwards, we're on the day of bringing back our UAB football, bowling, and rifle. So what we'll do now is just go ahead and take a moment of silence to think about all my teammates that transferred bowling and rifle and that was ended as well. Everybody bring it in. Remember y'all, we are, we are a family, and when he, do, when he makes the announcement at 4 p.m., it doesn't stop. We're a party today, but we got work to do tomorrow because we have to bring UAB to Birmingham and do what we have to do for this city. Family on three, family on three. One, two, three, family! Given the broad base of support. Never before seen, as of today, we are taking steps to reinstate the football, rifle, and bowling program. Yeah! right now. I am so excited. Uh, I have not been able to stop crying today because I am so excited. I'm happy. I'm relieved. Uh, we have fought so hard for this and all of the hard work is paying off. President Watts has seen the light and he has agreed to return football back to UAB. It's just a great, great day for the school. Tim is an inspiration to a lot of people, including me, and uh, just to see him in action and see his love for this university is amazing. When you believe in something, you take a stand for it, and you don't let anybody talk about you and say what you can't do. A lot of people used to question me and say, you know, when will it be back? And they never believed in the students, they never believed in the fans at UAB, and now today, June 1st at 4 p.m., UAB football, bowling, and rifle is back. <laughs>